What is up my dudes, Kevin here, we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys an amazing method to get tons of rare loot and on top of that, some extra cash in your pockets. So if this is helpful, you guys enjoy it, drop a like down the video, comment down below any additions to this method or what do you think about this method in general guys and of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel and let's get this video going. So as many of you all know, there's many ways to make money and gain loot in Red Dead Online, such as you can go to places like the hotel in Strawberry, loot that whole place, it's full of loot, then you can change servers, go back to the same spot, and loot it all again to get pretty much unlimited loot, which works, is good. Now on top of that, you guys can get money by hunting, playing showdowns, doing stranger missions, so on and so forth. Now those methods are all great and they're all good, but oftentimes people complicate things a little too much. I myself, I've done it in the past as well, and I think a lot of the time, we just have to go back to the roots or look at the simple things to gain money or loot in Red Dead Online because oftentimes they are the best. And well, the way we're going to be getting both of those great things today is by using horses. Now, some of you guys might say, horses, what does horses have to do with loot or money? Well, you guys will see in a second. First things first, you want to go to a location that has a lot of hitched up horses, and that's going to be pretty much every main town in Red Dead Online. Let me show you guys on the map what I'm talking about. So one great spot is this road right here in Blackwater, and they're often all throughout Blackwater. Rhodes is another great area to find a bunch of horses, and of course, St. Denis, as it's just so large, of course, there's going to be a bunch of horses hitched up throughout the whole city, and Valentine's great, and also Tumbleweed is great as well, pretty much, pretty much every city, guys, you just want to make sure you go to one of the main towns, and you guys should be good to go, but my favorite is probably Blackwater, since they're all just lined up in a row. Now, let's get to the loot and money-making part. Before we do that, from each horse, guys, we're going to get either two to three lootable items. Now, on top of that, you guys can expect to get anywhere from $1.20 to about $2 per horse. It's about like a 75% chance that each horse is going to have money. Sometimes you don't get it, but most times you guys will get money from these horses. Now, I think a large reason of why people don't even bother looting these horses is because sometimes if you just straight up loot them, let me show you guys. Well, the horse will get pretty upset and pretty much just kick you in the face, which we got lucky right there, and he did not. But as you can see, we got a health cure, open guama rum, salted venison, and on top of that, we got a dollar thirty-two. Now that is actually a lot of money, guys. A dollar thirty-two is a lot of money in Red Dead Online. If you compare that to fishing, for example, if you catch, let's say, a rock bass, that that's only a dollar, and you can only hold ten of those, so that's ten dollars from one horse. We got a dollar thirty-two. So if you compare that to some other techniques, that's that's a highly underrated amount of money right there that you guys are getting from a horse. And if you think about it, it took us, what, a second to loot that horse? And if we go on to the next horse, we're going to get pretty much the same exact thing, just a different range of items. Now, again, this horse did not kick us, which is very, very lucky. Oftentimes, they will kick you. We got snake oil, guama rum, and no money that time, which is not that common. You can expect to get money from most of these horses. But now in case the horses do start kicking you, what you guys are going to do is simply go up to the horse. You want to pat it. You want to pat it about four times. That's going to calm the horse down to a level where it trusts you and it will not kick you regardless. So after you got it all calmed down, that is when you're going to go ahead and loot these horses. Oh, so from that one, we actually got $1.72. We got some really good items from that horse. Well, we got hit with the good old Red Dead Online DC. Not really sure why they haven't fixed that problem yet, but luckily we're back in a brand new server and we got a whole brand new batch of horses, which is the upside. So I'm going to show you guys a few more tips with looting these horses. And after that, you guys going to have some good loot in your pockets and a good amount of money and be on your way. But let's start where I left off. Like I said, you guys want to make sure that you're patting these horses if they're being all crazy because they will kick you and there's a good chance that they will kill you. But luckily from this one, we got an open health gear and $1.52. Now, that's some pretty good money right there, and we actually only got one item. That's very rare. I usually get either two or three, so I guess you can expect anywhere from one to three. So let's move down the line. Let's check out these horses here. Now, it seems to be a, about a 50% chance of these horses kicking you. Now, we've been having some really good luck during this video, but we got some what, a health tonic, gin, salted beef, and no money from that horse. Let's try this horse, see if he kicks us. And this one kicked us. So you see how I said? So when they're acting up like this, all you want to do is go up to the horse. You're going to pat him about three to four times. Make sure you calm him down. And once he's all calmed down and stopped moving around a bunch, you'll be able to loot him without worrying about having to get kicked in the face. And once he's calmed down, you guys can be good to go to loot him. So also, let me show you guys what you want to avoid doing, and that's going to be hopping on top of horses. Now... You don't want to do that for a couple of reasons and well actually one reason in general is let me let me just show you guys when you hop on these horses 
not only does it decrease your honor, but it's going to make you wanted, and then you have to pretty much flee town and deal with the whole bunch of sheriffs coming after you. As you can see, now we're wanted for horse death, so you want to make sure you do not hop on these horses. Now, if you do hop on them, when you get off them, you're going to be able to loot the horse without them kicking you, which is the upside, but there's a greater downside than there is an upside. So you want to make sure you're just patting the horses and looting them. Do not hop on top of them, because that's just going to cause you a whole bunch of new problems. But once you guys went ahead and cleared out all the horses, what you can do is either ride far away from this road right here. So, for example, if you guys are on this road, you can go ahead and ride, I don't know, all the way down to uh, Thieves Landing. Come on back, and there should be a new batch of horses here. Or you guys could simply open up the menu right here, go to online, go to free roam, and you guys can join a brand new session, and there'll be brand new horses there for you guys as well. But either way, this is a technique that should be used when you guys are going from town to town. Whenever you're in a town, make sure you guys are looting all the horses that you see. Because a lot of times, people just go buy these horses and you're missing out on a lot of loot and some decent extra money from something that is so, so simple. Now, this may not be one of your main money-making techniques or looting techniques, but it's something you guys should keep in mind as you're playing Reddit Online. Because if you're not taking advantage of this, well, you're missing out on a lot of possible money and items. But with that being said, guys, a quick short video for you guys. If you enjoyed it or if it was helpful, drop a like the video. Comment down below what do you think of this whole horse method and what's some additions we can add to this to make it even better or some extra secret tips that you guys may know about. Besides that, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace out.